hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you how to make this super easy creamy pesto pasta guys this one is a family favorite and it's packed full of unbelievable flavors so if you want to learn how to do it then just keep watching and while you're watching guys do not forget to like and share this video leave comments in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel So the first thing you'll need would be some pesto. I posted a video on how to make this pesto two weeks ago. So be sure to check out that video. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. So make your own pesto, but if you can't do it, you can definitely use the store bought one, but homemade is always better. You'd also need to have some chicken breast cut up in strips, some mushrooms. This is optional, but guys, you know, I love me my mushrooms. <laughs> you need to have some garlic jalapeno for some spicy kick cherry tomatoes heavy cream butter parmesan cheese and your pasta any kind of pasta would do but i like this type for this recipe for the pasta go ahead and cook it according to package instructions so while my pasta is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to make my creamy sauce. So I'm adding some olive oil and butter to my pan and I'm going to use that to saute my mushrooms and my chicken. So the mushrooms and the chicken are going to cook around about the same time. So I'm cooking them together. There is no point trying to cook them separately. The chicken cooks pretty fast and the mushroom also cooks really fast. So cook them together to cut down on your cook time. So I'm going to be sauteing these for around about three minutes. And while that is sauteing, I'm going to make sure to add some salt and some freshly cracked black pepper guys you already know i love me my black pepper so i'm adding tons of it in there just because i like it okay but be careful do not overdo it <laughs> so after about three minutes of cooking my mushrooms and chicken i went ahead and added my garlic and my jalapeno and i'm going to let this go for another minute just to give time for the garlic to cook out its raw flavor so once that is done i am going to go ahead and add my pesto guys as soon as that pesto hit the pan the aroma that hit my kitchen was out of this world i'm telling you it is so good oh my god homemade pesto is everything guys it's so fresh and it's amazing it makes everything taste good it is definitely way better than the store but one but like i said if that's all you can get then you can buy from the store but if you can make it yourself please make it yourself okay so now I've added my heavy cream and my cherry tomatoes and I seasoned again with some additional salt and black pepper. So after giving this a really good mix, I'm going to let it simmer for about three minutes. And after about three minutes of simmering, I added my Parmesan cheese and my pre-cooked pasta and we were done guys i told you this is a super easy recipe everything was done in less than 30 minutes less than 30 minutes and you have an amazing flavorful dinner on the table for yourself and your loved ones so give this a try guys give this a try so this is what it looks like all served up. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some extra pesto on top of it with some extra Parmesan cheese. And I am going to dive right in the freshness from the pesto and the creaminess from the heavy cream together makes such an amazing flavor. Guys, you definitely need to try this one. It is so good anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching guys if this is your first time on my channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you know when i post new videos and guys like and share this video with your friends and family and leave comments in the comment section to let me know if there is any recipe you would like to see me try let me know in the comment section and i would love 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 to try it i love you all see you guys in the next video